What's going on? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to cover step by step how to install carpet in a basement. So we have a concrete subfloor and I have concrete tack strip. I'm actually using the basic strips that you could get at any of the big box stores and the concrete nail that is in them is 11 and 16 nail. Now when you're pounding in tack strip make sure the little tiny nails that are going to grab the carpet are pointing towards the wall. That's what's going to hold it in place when you kick it on. Swing the hammer like a madman just to make sure those nails stick in the floor and that's how you move forward now just go around the perimeter of the room making sure that every single piece is nice and secure in the concrete and if some of the nails don't grab have some fill nails on hand to fill in the spots that are not grabbing properly for you now as you go around the perimeter of the room and get every piece of tack strip down, after that we are going to go ahead and start padding. Now if you see right under my butt there, a roll of pad just went in the background and I'm finishing up the strip. Now we have two shots of pad down, we're going to duct tape the seams together to make sure it doesn't separate when we go to kick it in. You could also glue the padding to the floor if you would like, either method is fine. We have the horrible 12 foot 6 inch room so we have to do a little pad fill along the wall. So as you can see I'm just lining up the pad there, I'm taping it in place, then I'm taking my knife and I'm trimming it to the tack strip. Now once everything's down in place, clean up the giant mess you made and then we're going to go ahead and unroll the first main piece, get it all lined up on everything. Once it's lined up, we have a seam in the room so I am running a row in the carpet and I'm taking my carpet cutter top cutter and cutting the seam now I have a nice fresh edge that's the seam tape we're dropping that under the seam and we just brought in the next piece of carpet so we're going to go ahead and unroll that one and now I need to run my row finder down that I'm actually using a pen for it but that separates the fiber so we can make a nice clean cut with the top cutter go ahead and chop that out and we're going to slide it over, get it all lined up, and then we're going to plug in the seam iron, and we are going to burn the seam. So basically slide the iron and iron lengths forward every single time, roughly 10 seconds at a time, let it heat up. So 10 seconds, slide it in iron lengths forward. Another 10 seconds, slide it iron lengths forward, and look at that beautiful seam there. This is a mid-grade plush carpet, so it just seems really, really good. So you don't have to be super skilled to make that look nice. And once you get to the other end of the wall, you're going to go ahead and pull the seam iron out and wait for it to dry and then you're going to start stretching it in place. Now I'm running down the walls with my kicker, tapping it onto the tack strip, getting it locked in place and then I'm creasing it on with a stair tool or hook knife or my knife and then trimming and tucking it with my knife and stair tool. So you can see me just flying around, blah, 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 blah. And that's it for how to install carpet in a basement. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, be sure to comment below and I'll connect with you on the next video.